And tonight I want to share with you on this topic which I think will relate to all of you and it is called confident living to so faith in God. One of the things that I've always believed in is that the faith that we have is not a religious faith. When we received Jesus into our life, we did not receive a religion. We, we received more than religion. We received more than religion. And what we receive is an empowerment to live life and to live life confidently and successfully. ဆိုရင်ယူအနာရီစီဗဂျီးစစ်အင်ချူအာလိုက်ကျွန်တော်တို့ဒီအတက်ကိုလည်းရတယ်အန်ဒီရီစီဗဂျီးစစ်အင်
enable us to continue to have a positive outlook of life and the future that is ahead of us. Eri jashi de seicha mu di jano do atashi ne kama jano do min tui bo yan do phe ba de. Again in life we go through in the journey where things do not always work out the way we wanted it to work. Jano do bo wa ma atashi ne kama ti ba de ba phe le amye de jano do phe shi ne ya de bedo ma Things can happen in our life where we did not anticipate nor prepared for, and it just hit us like a ton of bricks. No, you know, do the karma, my business in that area, at same time, you know, do my change in that area, you know, do change do yara, me have it. But this faith that we have in God enable us that even though things do not work out the way we would anticipate or expected, yet. We can remain positive, and we can look at our future with faith and confidence. So do pay our kin tanga yare jongji jengaro. So do ma piense nare achi ma pay yari bet jongdu ni ba di. So do wa eri jongji jene choloana ina pi pare. My friends, this is the confident living that God wants us to have. And as you know, the pay our kin so do go shize jene say chamu api wane atashi jene pi pare. And tonight, I want to use the story, a very familiar story that I'm sure you would be familiar with, the story of David and Goliath. To Chano illustrate do, this truth. Chano do alo jinni de no achau yali te kurega ni chano piopia chene era garo thawi ne Goliya ye achau yari ga pia bare. The all of us are aware and familiar with the story of David and Goliath. Chano do alo Goliya ne thawi jangu jinni jama ba. That story came about at a time when Israel was at war with the Philistines. Eri achau yaga be che ma phit le so Israel lu myo de ya phit ti lu de ne sit phit ni de che ma phit de. And it was in the midst of that war that a situation arose. Eri sit phit ni de ja de ma no achau ya de ku paw la ba de. Now they were fighting one another. Tru tiao ne tiao cha ni ja de. And many people died while fighting each other. Lu de mya so le ti de. And that day came when the Philistines came up with this idea. No, every time Philistine lurega the idea to go through jalaide. Instead of everybody fighting one another to determine who wins the battle. No, ero babile si boego budu naimles ra songbia bo dia ne dia luri amiai chani me sa. The Philistines came up with a proposal. No, ero Philistine lurega through babile so e through achan to go yare. And they say to the children of Israel. No, Israel la lumiore go through lampiore. Instead of everybody fighting with one another. No, mino alu dia ne dia chani me sa. Let us do this to determine the outcome of the war. No, ero babi leso in budu nine leso ra go di ane ngaru atombiu bi pishe me. We will choose one person to represent us, and you choose one person to represent. Ero ngaru le ngaru go pong sao me ludi ago jui me mino go go sao piu me ludi ago mino jui lu piu lai de. And then we let the two person fight no, instead of every one of us fighting. Eri luni ago be ngaru cha kai me ngaru alu cha zia me ludi ago lu piu lai de. Sounds like a good idea, huh? No. I think it will be very good for today's world if all the presidents and prime minister who want to go to war, <laughs> instead of they asking everybody to fight, they fight among themselves. No, and ero, whoever wins, win the war. No, ero jene ke malay eri chansi tohi ayang kaum eh la no ero dainga te dainga ne te dainga cha ni me sa no eri tamrari tiya ne tiya we cha kai lai da pu kaum ma le. So, so this was the interesting idea. No, dia ayang kaum mo ne idea de kuba. So the Philistines choose their cat champion. Called Goliath. Ero piliti lure ya through a champion ji Goliath go juire. Now the Bible tells us this guy is between nine feet to eleven feet tall. Tama chance aya eri luha ku begani sad be jalo yeshi re lu piyo. So they say this is our fighter, our champion. No di luha ngaru ye no fighter ngaru ye champion piyde. Now they look at the nation of Israel and say, you find your guy to fight our guy. No ero idre la lumiyo re lampiyo re mino time bi ga cha me tu go cha me tu sha ge lu piyo re. Now cause among the whole tr the whole nation of Israel and the army that they had at that moment, they couldn't find somebody that could match this guy in no, battle. No ero tru ba pile so ye mene lai sha re idre la time bi ma no. And therefore, instead of responding, they just covered in fear. No, ero, eri iya go thro tom pia yam e sa palu le solution e thro chau yun jin e thro atashin jare. So every day, this Goliath will come and say, "Where is your champion? Where is your fighter?" 
Eri Goli ha ni ya time last in kore. Minu ya champion ba malay. Minu kusa chame du butu. I'm waiting here to fight your guy. No ero minu ya luong ha chabu sauni da pe malay. But the whole army of Israel, they were frightened and they are sent a man out because there was no one among them that could match the size of this Goliath. Idrila seta ma shire lu alo ha chao yon jene ma atta shene pa chao ne soye gole ne shenai ne du ma shi lo pide. Then came a boy called David. No eche ma no kong li de yao Dawi lo ko ba le. Now David was not a soldier. Dawi ha seta de yao mo ho ba hu. He was sent by his parent to bring food for the brothers who were fighting in the army. No ero tu ha de gero ba lo bu le soye But David was a man who has faith in God. Who knows God. David man, David ha, John Jesus she le du pi de. Payad ke ne ti juan ne du pi de. And as he walked to the camp, du eri sita he go pi shau de kama. He's wondering why is everybody hiding? Why is everybody so fearful? Ero du sinzare sita he go inware palu alu chau ni jara le palu alu po ni jara le du sinzare. And then this giant came out. No, Eric, come on, do Eric, Luda, you do. And again, calling out, Eric, you are calling it to the whole army of Israel. Where is your fighter? No, Eric, sit that cool on Eric, go there, got change on there. Me, no, chow me, do you do that? No, me, no, allo, no, chow you, no, do that. Where is your God? Me, no, pay up, pay mal, eh? And he was just taunting and mocking. No, long be on Jenny, pay up, you, Jenny, eh? Pay none, eh? Eddie, change on. And David heard it. To read to you what David said. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 26. And verse 26, David spoke to the man who was standing by him. What will be done for the man who kills this Philistine? And removes the disgrace of his taunting from Israel. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he has taunted and defy the armies of the living God? For Samuel 17 and verse 26. Yes, I think you should read it first. Tawigale, Topilidi Lugo, Tawi, Idrela. Amiodo cano acha guajingo peixe no dudi a peixe o go jalimini a teixe no mudo piarque e boche rogo tem para mim a chão a ebia ligingo macano to piloti ludi a bedo do lu pedanihu mimi anama si do do a mimi ali. So in the face of the challenge by Goliath, here is David speaking out in confidence. Who is this guy that dares to defy the armies of God Almighty? In our everyday life, we do face Goliaths that come to us, that challenges us. That mock us sometimes. Chano do le niya da ita shene kama chano do pwa ma jin sayare goliye de shiba. Chano do go lala bi sing kore yare. Chano do go lala bi pia ye pure yare go jin sang chaya ma ba. What are these modern day goliers that we face? Raso in jene ke ye goliye de ga pari le. One is the intimidation and the fears of the unknown and new things that happen in our life. Namat di chani ne. Chenodo mati dire ayari bahpi lam le zura gu chenodo cao yu mi imadan soi ne sepiat. It is normal for us to feel intimidated and fearful when something new comes upon us and we are not prepared for it. Chenodo ha ati do mu yari chenodo tangu cao ya ulama gu imadan ma soi ne se lurai ma si jare cao yun jara piat eri ya gu. Like the color. Pandemic that is in the world that came in two years ago, and when it hit the world, until today, people are fearful. What is going to happen next? Because it's something that is so new, and this new norm that is taking place around the world. How would it affect me? Luri babi le chano do longere nani ka pikere joga jang akure thi so yeng zai shi le duri shi le nau ta tapi lai blue pi malaysia tuiri ne chau yong ni le duri amya shi jare yeni kema. 
these fears and intimidation and the change how moon of Goliath in life change how moon and chow yun jini alo wa jini ki ye golia di pi baare and now the modern day Goliath are the insurmountable oppositions that we face daily now that the check out of Balez we need a dime a general do Barriers, hindrances, obstacles, like a mountain in front of us, and we are challenged by it. Chenodo she ma paisu ni re ayari, chenodo go tasi re ayari, taungke do chenodo go si ta ni re ayari, miaswa chenodo jin sanya ma ba. The liars in front of us. Chenodo she ma shi ni re goli apje de eri ya. Another form of modern day Goliaths are new projects, assignments, opportunities that are beyond our strength to handle. Now that yari ka baale soi, chano do ye kuane chano do makhanai ne ati to chano do ye low day project assignment ni pide. We we love those opportunities and we see the goodness of it, but we are unable to do or to carry it out. ကျွန်တော်တို့အဲ့ဒီအခွင့်ရေးတွေကိုရှားဖို့ရန်အတွက်အင်းမတန်မှလိုချင်းသောလဲပဲအဲ့ဒီအခွင့်ရေးနဲ
And that inevitable that he placed so much confidence and trust in that gives him confidence in return to face Goliath is this that God always wins. He said, the God that you and I serve is the Almighty God. The God that we serve can never lose. And if the God that we serve and have trust in cannot lose, it will also mean we cannot lose. David could look at the Goliath and say, Who is this Goliath? Because he didn't see the size of Goliath, he saw the size of the God he believes in. Brothers and sisters, today God wants you to look not at the size of your problem, but the size of your God. The God that you and I serve is bigger than the Goliaths in life. David saw beyond the natural. See, the army of Israel, they only saw the natural. Here is this giant challenging us. And they only look at themselves in the natural. Who am I to fight this Goliath? We are not strong enough to fight Goliath. He is much bigger than us. He is much stronger than us. They saw the natural only. But David didn't just see the natural. David didn't just see a Goliath challenging the army of Israel. David saw a Goliath challenging the army of God. Brothers and sisters, listen to this carefully. Every challenge that you and I face is not just a challenge directly to us, but it is also a challenge to the Word of God to us. Every challenge that we face is not just a challenge to us, it is also a challenge to the Holy Spirit and to God that is inside us. You see, the Word of God says something about us. Goliath look at us and say, You are weak, you are hopeless, you are useless, you are nothing. But the word of, of God say, I can do all things through Christ. But the word of God says through Christ we are triumphant always. So every challenge of Goliath is not just a challenge to us directly. It is a challenge to what the word of God says concerning us and therefore it's a challenge against God's word. Brothers and 
Now let me ask you a question. When Goliath challenged the word of God, who will win? Goliath or the word of God? The word of God, yes. You see, brothers and sisters, the word of God is God. Come on, let me say it again. The word of God is God. And God has done more for us that we can understand. It's time we start believing what is inside us. You see, David knew that. Unlike the whole army of Israel. So that's all. When he look at Goliath, he is like, Aya, what's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> That's how Malaysian will speak when they see Goliath. Aya. no. Malaysian the other. Like that. no. I think it's time for us as God's people. When the Goliaths come into our life to challenge us, we will look at it and say, like that only. No, and a Goliath that you know the boy will lag him as we pay your life. And now leave us here, Allah. Amen. Amen. You see, God always wins. Piyarki, I'm here, nine here. And God's word will always come true for us. Our Lord Jesus himself said, heaven and earth will pass away, but not his word. Every word of God must and will be fulfilled. So what, the first way in which we can build confidence into us so that we can live confidently is to put our trust in God's Word. Don't just listen to what the problems say. Don't just look at the difficulty and listen to what the difficulty say to you. Instead, listen to what God's word says. Amen. Amen. The second thing that David had. And this is important to move into confident living. Listen to move into confident living, we must believe that we can be the solution to the problems that we face. So often when we face challenges and difficulties in life, we think that the answer and the problem is always outside us, is always in somebody. And when we don't have too many people in our life, and when those difficulties come, we end up in a state of despair. Because now we truly believe, like we say in Cantonese, say for all. You know what say for? I don't know. Habesla! Habesla! No, I don't know. Papi, let's get the name. No, so much. 
Bibi. No, hello, where's the road? This is the end. No, dear, I'm not so mad. There's no way I can get out of it because I have no other friends around me, no other help. I don't know a dato or dancery and date. Of course, there are areas in life that we need the help of someone stronger and smarter than us. But sisters, there are also many areas in our life where through God, we can be the solution to the problems that we face. I want to read to you what David said here. Verse Samuel 17, 31 and 32. Remember the situation was everybody was so frightened. Nobody had to step out to the challenge. And David asked, why isn't there somebody who can do something about this situation? And nobody could respond to that. David said this, Verse 32. Then David said to Saul, the king, Let no man's heart fail because of him, Goliath. Your servant, me, David, I will go and fight this Philistine. Brothers and sisters, you must believe, I must believe, and remember that God can work through me. God can use me. God can make me to be the solution for the things I need in my life. Through God, with God, I can solve the problems of my life. And this is true. You see, you can solve the problems of your life when you know more. When you increase in more knowledge, right? You may be able to solve your own problem if you are more skillful. You see, we, we need to believe this. That we are not helpless, we are not useless. Because through our God, we are more than conquerors. God can instruct us, guide us, lead us, teach us. The Holy Spirit is not only good for spiritual things, the Holy Spirit is good for everything that concerns life. What restricts him from moving and working in every aspect of our life, feeding us and teaching us, is because we don't believe. He can use us. Psalms 23. I know I think you know Psalms 23. That is a very powerful psalm. Every morning I recite it as part of my prayer. 
Because Psalm 23 verse 1 tells us the Lord is my shepherd I lack nothing. Lack nothing what? According to the song, I lack nothing of knowledge. I lack nothing of wisdom. I lack nothing of understanding. I lack nothing of instruction. Because he lead me to green pastures, he lay me beside still waters, he restore my soul, he leads me in path of righteousness. So the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. I lack nothing of knowledge, of guidance, of instruction. Amen. Amen. Would you look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, you can be the solution to solve your problem. Because the Lord is your shepherd. Learn to trust him. Amen. Amen. Woo! Woo! You see, this is the reality of life. Yes, today I may be lost, I may be confused, I may, I may be uncertain how to handle this situation. But you know what? If I put my trust in God, if I do a little bit more research, if I will plan a little bit more, if I will just seek God and have a clearer understanding of what is happening in my life, I could well solve it tomorrow. Brothers and sisters, the problem will not get bigger, but you can get bigger. Amen. Today your problem may be bigger than you, but if you will trust God, you will look to Him as your shepherd, you will grow. Tomorrow you become bigger than your problem. Let's hallelujah. Amen. I look back the journey that I've taken over all these years. How do I overcome all the problems that was part of my journey? And I can tell you, I got lots of problems. You think your problem is big? Wait till you hear my problem. <laughs> you think you're lacking? Wait till you know what I'm lacking. As I go to this journey, I understand this one simple thing. That if I would trust God, because He is my shepherd, He is the Lord Almighty. He's the God of all wisdom and knowledge and understanding. If I will open my heart and my mind to hear Him, I can grow up. And when I grow up, my problem becomes smaller. So how do we become the solution to the problem we have? Grow up. Amen. Become better. Become stronger. Become smarter. And God has promised us that He will instruct us. He will guide us in the way that we should go. Amen. 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 Amen.
watch over us with his eyes upon us. And we don't need to be like a horse and a mule without understanding. You know where that is found? Psalms 32. Verse 8 and 9. Go back, please, and memorize it. Brothers and sisters, we can live confidently through our faith in God. God wants to work in and through us that we become the solutions to our own problems and needs. And then after that, we can now become a solution to others. Amen. The third thing there is in David in that chapter. When Saul, King Saul asked David, What make you so certain? No, that your God is going to help you. No, Edo, Sholua, Tawigo Lamide. Mean by John Ella, Atisha, Ipiona, and Alamin Piarke, Mim Kuni. How do you know that you are going to defeat Goliath? Mimbalotina, my lamb, me Goliath, good name is Ra. Remember, that was a very important decision because it's David lost. The whole nation of Israel will Again? become slaves to the Philistines. So serious decision. So King Saul asked David, what what me so sure? How do you know? How do I know? <laughs> you say you can. No, I don't know. I don't know. You know you can. I don't know. I don't know. You know what was the reply of David? And this is found in verse 34 to 37 of 1 Samuel 17. It's a long passage. There are 34, there's a four verses here. Not in short, what David said to King Saul was simply this. What David said to King Saul was simply this. I know. God is going to help me win this battle. And here's the reason why. You see, King, you know, there was one time a bear came to try to eat my sheep. And you know what? God helped me and killed that bear. Then he brought up another story. Yes. That there was another now that story is good to incident. Now that that God that helped help him to deliver his lambs. And, and then he said this. The God who did this for me in those situations, that same God will help me kill this giant. How do you and I walk confidently every day? The third is this. Remember what God did for you. Always remember what God has done for you. Before. And I want you to understand this. That everything that God did for us is not just to meet our need at the moment, but to become a seed to be sown in you so that that one miracle will lead you to the next miracle and the next miracle will lead you to the next bigger miracle each miracle bigger than the other if you will remember how he has done it for you you see, all past victories or breakthroughs are also seeds sown and building blocks 
for greater miracles, greater provisions, greater blessing, and strength for the future. Remember what God has done for you. And God's intention is this. Everything He did for you yesterday was planned to lay a foundation and a building block so that tomorrow you can experience a greater miracle from him. Every experience in our life is not just for the moment. Every experience is meant to be a seed sown into you so that you can believe God for another Bigger experience. That's the plan. And the idea of God in blessing us. It may start small. But if you understand this principle. You will have a next bigger miracle. And and then then a bigger miracle. And then a bigger miracle. That's how we grow in confidence and grow in faith. And I've seen this work in our life and in the journey that we have taken in this number of years serving Him. At the beginning, I could believe God only for this much. And then, as I remember, if God can do this for me, God can do this for me too. You see, God is the same yesterday, today, forever. His faithfulness in the past is a guarantee for His faithfulness today and tomorrow. And the ways of God in our life is from glory to glory. From thirty-four to sixty-four to hundredfold. That's how God works. David, remember this. That's why David can look at the Goliath. What God has done for me before, God can do it again and better. That's how God works, my brothers and sisters. That's how the journey of our faith should be. From strength to strength, from glory to glory. Because our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we can live confidently with our faith. Put your trust on Him. And we say put our trust in God, it simply means put our trust in God's Word. Because God's Word is God. Alright, please remember this. Today. 
Because sometimes we have this confusion. We hear people believe, trust God, trust God. And we find it very difficult because we don't see God. <laughs> How the trust God? The secret is this. To trust God means to trust His Word. When you trust His Word, you trust God. Amen. 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 Live confidently trusting God's Word. Number two, believe God can use you to solve your own problems. You can be the solutions to the needs and the challenges and the problems that you have. You just need to look to him and say, God, teach me. Make me smarter. wisdom. Because that's what the Bible says. Those who lack wisdom, let them ask of God. And then Jeremiah 33, 3, call upon you, call upon me, and I will show you things that you have not known, things you don't understand, things that are hidden, I will show to you. Hallelujah. We can live confidently. Remember what God has done in your life. Remember the big things, the small things. And recognize that everything He did for you is more than just to meet the need. It is also a seed and a building block to take you to another experience with Him. Amen. Amen. We can live confidently. Because the faith that we have is not religion. The faith we have is a connection to the source of empowerment for living. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, you have a great future ahead of you. Be confident in God. Amen. Amen. Stand with me as we close. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Do you have giants and goliaths that you are facing today? Don't be intimidated by them. Amen. Amen. It's time to stop being frightened and fearful. Amen. It's time to look at it. Ayo, ini saja because our confidence is in God Almighty. And God is for us and with us. And God is our Father. Our Papa in heaven. And as the Papa, He is our strength. He is our source. He is our supply. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Woo. Woo. How should we end this? <laughs> I hope your faith has been built up tonight. Not this morning.
Don't ever let the giants and the Goliaths of life intimidate you anymore. Tajamlu Timbuwa da ma jin sai ni yare Goliath di tingu bedoga ma bedoma. They may look fierce. They may look big and huge. Chau si akau in kama ba eri yaga. Remember, our God is bigger. Tapi memang dah ba. Jono do bayar kini eri yara buji mar eh. And you and I are no ordinary person. Tene jono wa tapawa luri mahu bau. You are not Burmese. I'm not Chinese. Tene ham yama luri mahu jono wa tayo luri mahu bau. You are not Burmese. I'm not Malaysian. Tene ham nom yama luri mahu jono wa Malaysia nang yana mahu bau. Who are we? Jono do wa budu rile. We are children of God. We are the chosen of God. We are the chosen of God. We are the empowered of God. We are the special people 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 of God. And as God is, so are we. And because we are made in His likeness, and He is our Papa. So now we are the chosen. ปุ่นเดินเดินยืนยันได้แผ่นสิ่งยิ่งขยันตัวฉันรู้ว่าปุ่นเนี่ยดูเลยป้าป้าสตรองชิลดันสตรองเอ็นอดีตเนี่ย